Rome is a fascinating city filled with historic tourist attractions. There's the Colosseum, the Roman Forum, the Sistine Chapel and the Pantheon, and many more. Rome's Jewish history goes back 2,200 years, and to appreciate it fully, it is worth joining one of Stephen Burston's tours of Jewish Rome. The community has really experienced the longest presence out of any community within Rome. Having arrived here 2,200 years ago, in fact, at the same time that this ancient ruin, Roman ruin was first constructed back in 140, 150 BC, we're standing at the, one of the corners of the old Jewish ghetto, which existed between 1555 and 1870. The most prominent Jewish building in Rome is the Great Synagogue, which also houses a second shul, a small Spanish synagogue, and the Jewish Museum. We're now at the front of the great synagogue of Rome, called the Tempio Maggiore, and it's the highlight of my tour of Jewish Rome. The synagogue was built between 1901 and 1904, and it really was the culmination of a fascinating 2,200-year history of Rome's Jewish community. Burston starts his tour in Trastevere, where the first Jewish settlers lived in Roman times. I've identified this building we can see in front of us as an early 12th century synagogue, which was inaugurated by Rabbi Nathan ben Yechil, who was a lexicologist and rabbi, and they have identified the first floor as being his residence. The yeshiva students lived on the top, synagogue on the ground floor, and quite amazing, the wine cellar for the restaurant, in fact, was the mikvah. Then the tour stops at the small island of Tiberina, in the middle of the river Tiber, where Stephen offers more tales and insights into Jewish history. Today the Jewish ghetto is a vibrant area with shops, cafes and kosher restaurants. But for 300 years until 1870, this was where the Jews of Rome were incarcerated. The tour ends in the ghetto with a drink at a cafe bar with some of the locals. Danny Gox, JNTV.